Okay, so the bottom problem of the first page of the review is an equation that we've been doing for a while. So the first step on the equation is to put your line down the y, or the equal sign, sorry. So the line down the equal sign. Then you're going to cover one side of the equation and ask, do I need to simplify that? And we see parentheses and all that, so I know I do need to simplify it. So I'm going to forget this side exists for now, and I'm going to concentrate on that one and simplify it. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is distributed property. So I'm going to distribute the 6 into here. So I say 6 times y, 6y. 6 times positive 4 plus 24. That minus 4, nothing happened to it, so I just bring it down. It was not part of the multiplication. Okay, so here I ask myself, am I ready to move on to the other side or can I simplify again? And the answer is we can simplify again because we see that these two are like terms. They're both constants. 6y, nothing happened to it, so I bring it down. 24 minus 4, it's a regular number, so I know what it is, will be plus 20. Now I am simplified all the way on this side, so I'm done with this side. I'm going to move to the other and ignore this one now. Do I need to simplify here? And then I see multiplication here, so yes, I do. Nothing happens to the y. This minus 9 needs to be multiplied into the parentheses. So minus 9 times 3y. That gives me negative 27y. There's one negative, only lonely. Now again, minus 9 times positive 2. That's going to give me negative 18. Again, the y was not multiplied, nothing happened to it. I just bring it down. Okay? Then I ask, am I done with this side or do I need to simplify further? And then I see that I do need to simplify further because these two are like terms. They both have y's. Okay? If I don't see anything in front of a letter, that means it's a 1. So 1 minus 27. Remember different signs? you're going to subtract and keep the sign of the largest. So 27 minus 1 is 26, and the sign of the largest is this one, the negative, because 27 wins. And I just bring down the negative 18, nothing happened to it. Now I'm simplified all the way here. Now I'm going to look at the whole thing. I have both sides. And I'm going to see if I have the x's only on one side and I discover that they are not in the same team. I have negative 26y and 6y, so I need to move one of them. I want to move this one over. To move, I can add or subtract only. So since this is minus 26y, to cancel it out, I'm going to do plus 26y. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. Notice how I line it up with the y's because they are like terms. So these zero out. Here, I'm going to have positive 32y plus 20 equals negative 18. From here, I'm at the party, so now I have to uh, cancel out. Remember, we are solving for y. y is still not alone. I need to get rid of all of these things. The easiest one to get rid of is add or subtract. So plus 20, I get rid of it by the opposite minus 20. I still have 32y over here. Over here, remember, same signs, add and keep the sign. So over here, I'm going to have 38 negative. I'm going to go over here and rewrite this part because I ran out of room. Okay, I still do not have y alone. When a number and a letter are together, that means that they are being multiplied. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by the number I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of the 32 so that y is by itself over here. So if I divide by 32, that becomes a 1 and it's gone. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So y equals negative 38 over 32. Now I just need to simplify. So both are even, so I can do half, okay? So half of 38 is 19, 
and half of 32 is 16. And I can leave it this way. Y equals negative 19 over 16. Or I can convert it into a mixed number. It can be 1 and 3 sixteenths as well. So Y can equal negative 1 and 3 over 16. So both this one and this one are correct answers.